Dejan, I'm gonna send you this video, okay, buddy? Alright, cool. a video or a picture? Uh, take a picture, but I got a video, this video. Well, take a picture, take a picture. Capron Funk has spunked Funk? and is with child. Yes, daddy. But not only that, but Snoop <laughs> Dio Double G has been spotted on a scooter. All this and more. I am your host, Scooter Brad, and you're watching Scoot Review. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for you. <laughs> <laughs> Clip of the day. Luis Barrios with some nice back lip combos. Prettiest trick to exist. Agreed. Dude, Benjamin Fryant is doing fakey tricks on an ice scooter. What? That looks so fun. Cause a go boss. Jake Chatterley has way too much style for a park fanatic. Don't believe me? Watch. Bar, fakey slide. Jeez. Oh. To submit your own clips for clip of the day, just send them to at Scoot Review on Instagram. Writer's Digest. John Reyes is our day's inspiration today. His commitment to scootering takes him as far as clearing a gigantic space of bitter cold winter snow. He says, I'm pretty sure I like scootering more than anybody else. It's hard to argue with this, really. <laughs> it doesn't look like light work. Area 51, located in Eindhoven, is currently under a major redevelopment. And the skate park is looking absolutely sick. The following renders showcase the new layout of the park. And IRL photographs really solidify the fact that holy balls, this is mad. Bro, it's huge! God damn! Soon you won't be able to see the floor. This week we have started with the foundations of the street section. Its design was recently updated and you can find it on our previous posts. Let's check it out. As long as it hasn't been built, there's room for improvement. Together with Platform 51, we've decided to turn the mini ramp street section upside down and design a complete new course from scratch. We even turned the mini ramp into a bowl. We already started with the preparations, so keep an eye out on our feed for updates. It looks like there's a lot of obstacles jam-packed into this section. And judging by the size of the IRL photographs, man, this thing is going to be so sick. Next level, guys. Baptiste Bernal attempted the impossible this week as he jumped the Leon 25 stair. I'm not sure why people continue to actually attempt this. Y'all got a death wish, I'm guessing, which is cool. It makes for great entertainment for the rest of us. Every time I watch someone do this, it gives me mad goosebumps. Like, you're just flying at it. <sighs> no, thank you. 140k views in four days, though. Not bad, sir. Not bad. It's time to check the draft. Blunt Scooters now welcomes flow rider Ethan Izzy from Paris Francais. He'll have his eyes set on the pro team due to recent departure of long-term pro rider Charles Padel. Most cases of team switching contains big brands showing new riders to the masses. But sometimes, however, there's an Uno reverse in play, where a rider with a big name actually shows us a brand that we haven't heard much about. And this is one of those cases. Lucas DiMiglio announces that he's now pro under a brand called NKD. However, there's a lot of bag chasing comments. Looking at the deck though, it seems to be inspired by the current Envy Prodigy, but digging deeper, you can obviously see that the brand has actual potential. With Lucas having good taste in other sponsors, perhaps it's wise to accept that he finds it beneficial. Plus, pros need money, so stop hating on the fact that they need money. We're proud to introduce our newest pro rider. Welcome to the NKD team, Lucas DiMiglio. Really? Say psych right now. Could have done better. Just a lot of negatory kind of comments, do you know what I mean? We don't really need this, man. We really don't. The brand isn't half bad. We're looking at almost unfair decks. They look pretty similar. Uh, it's kind of mid-tier at the moment. This is a developing brand, but hell, guys, you've got to let them actually develop. <laughs> One of the many problems in today's society is the cancel culture. You guys want to cancel people before they even get, you know, a leg to stand on, so give them a chance. Big news! Capron Funk and Co. are officially with child. Just in case you didn't know via what seems like hundreds of pregnancy photos on Riddell's Instagram, it's safe to say that she's uh, pretty excited about the matter. He's also wearing Crocs. 
Olay Brand is currently offering up $1,500 to the best mashup posted by March 15th. You can enter by one, posting your best clips of all time into a 60 second edit, and two, you gotta tag that clip with Olay Mashup Contest and tag at Olay Brand. This might be our biggest story for a while. Dijon Taylor has been posted up with none other than the man himself, Snoop D O Double G, aka Snoop Dogg. Can't believe that, to be honest. How wicked is that? Although, Snoop didn't actually share any of that kind of content to his own audience, but at least we all know what happened. I guess. We found an extended version of the video clip where the camera op shamelessly plugs the scooter company one too many times, I think. Enjoy that. Snoop Dogg rides in Dejan's scooter. It rides real smooth. It's sturdy, too. I'm gonna try it. All right. Here, here, let me get a picture of you, too. Like how wide is it? Oh, yeah, Deja, I'm gonna send you this video, okay, buddy? Is right, so a video or a picture? Uh, take a picture if I got a video, this video. Oh, take a picture, take a picture. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Get in there. Take the video, take the video. I got the video too, I'm running. Are you rolling right now? Yeah, I'm rolling right now. Right now? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I'm rolling right now. Oh. So this awkward. This is Dejan's signature scooter. You're gonna sell the shit out of some scooters, Dejan. <laughs> this is everyone's first ride on a scooter. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's always the same thing. They push, they squat, they try a little jump. And that's that. Oh, yo. Oh, damn. Yeah, Dejan. Oh my god. Their reactions are so priceless. Damn, we got the quad whip too. Uh, stacked. He's chilling too. Downside kick list. Everybody like, what's going on? He hadn't even flipped yet. Yo. Yes! Snoop D O Double G put some respect on a scooter game. Let's go. Frame the wheel. They call that frame the wheel right there. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Hold on, what? <laughs> frame the wheel what? You don't know what you that's not a frame the wheel. Nobody says frame the wheel. Huh? There we go, here's the flip. Ooh. Dude. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, dude, that was sick. I Man, that's the first time I've seen that. I'm glad that I didn't actually check out the links in the post like prior to filming this because that is so sick. Dude, Dejan, bro, big up. That is so mad. Release Radar. Beep, 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 beep. Max Peters is currently testing the Butter 6 wide. It is heat treated this time, thank goodness, which is mad. Max has sent me some photos to show you guys, so let's take a look. So here you can see it's marked 6 wide, 22 long. It also has the millimeter measurements, so 150 by 560. The actual structure of the deck looks no different than the original, aside from the fact that the cutout in the top plate has clearly been shrunken, which is a very welcomed change. The cutout was just a little too big on the original version of this. These new owners clearly know what they're doing. Prime Scooters is a new brand emerging from Europe under the direction of what we assume is the great Boris Germain. This 25 year old rider has shown that he's taking his move very seriously. Their Instagram game is strong and the parts look like they're trialing just as well. I like it, I rate it. They're dropping a T-bar through Dissidents next week. The Western scooter scene may not have come across this brand thus far, but this is Trust. Based in Belarus, close by Russia, Trust is showing off these blocky decks that don't look half bad. The wheels look pretty mean too, I'm digging the vibe here. I wonder what they ride like. I have no idea what the post says, but I know that those decks look like a lot of fun. Native is dropping a nylon break to the masses thanks to Kevin Austin's impeccable taste. I've been rocking plastic brakes for years, and damn is it the way to go, really, it really is. He said it can't be one of those 125mm brakes that leaves heaps of room between the wheel and the brake when someone's running 110s. We pride ourselves on making parts compatible and adapting, ensuring that our high-end forks, X fenders, and now brakes can fit all standard industry wheels without compromises. That's why the refined nylon brake comes with two additional adaptive spaces, so you can choose exactly how close you want your brake to your wheel. That is freaking sick. I love the look of that. I love the vibe on this. I'm liking the spaces, the adjustability. Apparently it fits Aztec decks too, and this is a win-win for us. They will be first released on the Kevin Austin Sig decks and later sold individually. 
Stack of the day! Our first stack of the day is a repost page by Scooter Banger, but the clip is from Vuffa Sobol. Check it out. Our next stack comes from Subway Jaren, and uh, yeah, I'm not too keen on this one. Ooh, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> if you'd like to send in a stack that you've seen that's funny, gnarly, hilarious, awesome, a little bit too much, send it to at Scoot Review on Instagram. That is it for today's episode of Scoot Review. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Smash like and subscribe if you're new. That's it from me, Finesse B, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Have an amazing day. Yes, already been dead every two. White boy, expect